The James Webb Space Telescope has just made a jaw-dropping find. Beams of mysterious light that appear to be shining from what looks like a city, coming from a point millions of light years away. This discovery has reignited the age-old curiosity about alien life. When the telescope aimed its incredibly sensitive eyes at Proxima Centauri b, the planet closest to our solar system outside of it, it picked up a strange series of shimmering bursts that looked way too intentional to be random. Could this possibly be a sign of intelligent beings out there sending signals or lighting up their world? The search for life beyond Earth has always fascinated both professional scientists and curious minds everywhere. And now, that quest has a thrilling new clue. The James Webb Space Telescope, our most advanced space observatory yet, may have caught evidence that something or someone is out there. While scanning deep into space, it noticed patterns of light on a distant planet that looked oddly similar to the way our cities shine at night. The idea that there might be a city-like settlement on another world has sent ripples of excitement through the scientific world. If true, this could be the breakthrough everyone has been dreaming of, solid proof that intelligent life beyond Earth might actually exist. These glimmers, which were observed from over four light years away, stunned NASA's engineers. They began wondering just how long these lights had been flashing in space, waiting patiently for our technology to become powerful enough to spot them. Columbia University astronomer David Kipping explained that this particular planet behaves in unique ways. Unlike many rocky planets that simply absorb sunlight and release it as heat, Proxima Centauri b has a different kind of dance with its home star. This strange behavior is what the Webb telescope was able to pick up using its powerful infrared sensors. That special sensitivity allowed it to detect heat and light patterns that might otherwise go unnoticed, revealing what could be artificial illumination. This gives scientists a deeper look into the planet's atmosphere and climate. Researchers are gearing up for more observations, hoping to figure out whether this planet might be friendly to life. Webb's strength lies in its ability to catch even the faintest bits of infrared light, making it a perfect tool for spotting things like city lights glowing on the dark side of a planet. While other telescopes struggle to see much in the vast darkness of space, Webb can pick up subtle light signatures, including those that fall into an extremely narrow frequency range, the kind artificial lights would fall into, not natural starlight. Proxima Centauri b's tight connection with its parent star means the environment there is in constant flux. Like Earth, it goes through day and night cycles, although the differences are way more intense. Daytime could mean blazing heat, while nighttime might plunge into icy cold. The planet's atmosphere, or lack of one, plays a huge role in this. If there's any kind of air or gases around it, the temperature swings between day and night could be wild creating a hot and cold contrast that fascinates scientists. That extreme contrast offers a chance to learn more about what the atmosphere is made of, and Webb's tools are perfect for the job. Thanks to its own orbit around Earth, Webb stays in sync with Proxima Centauri b's 11.2 Earth Day cycle, making it possible to keep watching the changes from afar. If this planet has any kind of breathable air, scientists are ready to dive deeper into its chemistry. Finding ingredients like oxygen, water vapor, or methane would be a big step forward, suggesting that life could actually survive there. While Webb is great at spotting things like water vapor and carbon-based gases, it isn't as great at seeing free oxygen, one of the top indicators of life. Still, it can detect ozone, which would be a strong sign of a protective and active atmosphere. As data pours in from Webb's observations, the mission to find other habitable worlds keeps moving forward, slowly but surely bringing us closer to answering the big question. Are we the only ones out here? It's important to remember that Webb can't observe every single distant planet. There are limits. To dig even deeper into the atmospheres of these faraway worlds, scientists will rely on advanced ground-based telescopes, like the upcoming extremely large telescope, Yelty set to start operation in 2027. This enormous new instrument will offer much sharper views of alien atmospheres, allowing for more precise studies of whether life might be possible on those planets. As everyone eagerly awaits the launch of Yelty and other futuristic telescopes, Webb continues to be one of our most powerful tools for exploring distant solar systems. 
even with its limitations, it's revealing information that could completely change how we view our place in the universe. There's a lot of excitement around the development of future telescopes. These new gadgets will include features that help block the blinding light from nearby stars, making it easier to see the faint reflections coming from small planets. Think of it like using your hand to block the sun so you can see your phone screen. That's what these telescopes will do, but in space. One exciting method being tested is the coronagraph, a device built inside a telescope that blocks the bright star's light while letting the planet's light shine through. By controlling how the light waves bend and move, the coronagraph dims the star's overpowering glow, making it easier to spot tiny planets nearby. Another cool invention is called the starshade, a massive, petal-shaped structure that will float in space far ahead of a telescope, blocking the starlight before it even reaches the telescope's lenses. This flower-like shade lets only the planet's light sneak through, making observations much cleaner and sharper. Star shades are especially useful for zooming in on planets that orbit in just the right spot for water to exist, the so-called Goldilocks zone. But building and using these tools is anything but simple. The star shade, for example, has to line up perfectly with the telescope, even while being thousands of kilometers apart in space. It's like trying to thread a needle from miles away. Tiny mistakes can ruin the view. Add to that the challenges of building space-friendly gear that's both light and durable. And it's clear this is no walk in the park. Despite these tricky hurdles, the payoff could be huge. If these new tools can successfully read the chemical makeup of far-off planets, we might start finding biosignatures, chemical fingerprints of life like water, oxygen, or methane appearing in just the right mixes. These chemical clues could suggest that living things are thriving on those worlds. Scientists are also working on getting real photographs of exoplanets, not just datagraphs. New telescopes might come with advanced features like adaptive optics, which correct for blurriness caused by Earth's atmosphere or the telescope itself. Combine that with light blocking tech, and scientists could soon create detailed maps of other planets, showing their weather, surfaces, and maybe even signs of civilization. This kind of imaging would be a massive leap forward in space research, allowing experts to make better judgments about whether a planet is truly livable. The creation of this next wave of space telescopes is setting the stage for major discoveries about alien life. As our ability to explore planets far from Earth improves, the chances of finding life elsewhere rise dramatically. This could completely reshape how we see ourselves in the cosmos. Space exploration is moving faster than ever. With every new mission and telescope launch, scientists are pushing the boundaries of what we know. And at the center of all this is the James Webb Space Telescope, the gateway to a brand new age of discovery. The amazing data it's gathering is helping researchers piece together the secrets of distant worlds, their environments, and whether they could host living creatures. Every new clue takes us one step closer to solving one of the universe's greatest mysteries. Is anyone else out there? The detection of those mysterious lights on Proxima Centauri be maybe the start of something historic, a moment in time that changes everything we thought we knew about life beyond Earth. This revelation could mark the very first sign that we are not the only intelligent beings in the universe. While nothing is confirmed yet, the clues being uncovered are becoming harder to ignore. It's like slowly lifting the curtain on a cosmic stage, and we're starting to see shadows move behind it. The James Webb Space Telescope is turning science fiction into plausible science. And with each passing observation, the picture of Proxima Centauri b, and perhaps others like it, becomes clearer. Some scientists are urging caution, reminding the world that natural phenomena can often mimic artificial ones. But even they admit that this discovery pushes the boundaries of what we've seen before. It's not every day that a telescope spots lights that line up in patterns resembling cities. The implications are huge. If confirmed, this wouldn't just be a discovery of life. It would be the realization that intelligent life is actively shaping its environment, potentially developing technology, and perhaps even trying to communicate. It's a mind-blowing prospect that forces us to reevaluate everything we thought we knew about being alone in the universe. And that's just from one telescope. 
Imagine what we'll learn when more advanced observatories join the hunt. The upcoming ELT, for instance, will have the power to look even deeper into a planet's atmosphere, measuring its temperature, humidity, and even the color of its sky. Future space-based missions equipped with coronagraphs and starshades will paint even sharper portraits of distant worlds, offering glimpses into their seasons, storms, or even vegetation patterns. If we ever see those kinds of features, like a planet with changing colors that match growing seasons, that would be a strong case for biology. The tools being developed are like giving humanity a pair of cosmic glasses, finally allowing us to focus on the fine details of other planets. And with each new snapshot, we inch closer to either confirming alien life or at least ruling out some possibilities. What's wild is that we might one day be able to scan a planet's surface for signs of artificial structures, like geometric shapes or unnatural lights. It's no longer fantasy. In fact, early prototypes of telescopes with that kind of power are already in development. Many of them are being designed to work together as a network, sharing data and combining images to produce full 3D models of far-off planets. Think of it as building a planet's digital twin, all without ever setting foot there. And while this might sound like something from a sci-fi blockbuster, the scientists behind it are dead serious. They believe we're within reach of answering humanity's most profound question. What's truly inspiring is how all of this ties into our own story. For thousands of years, humans have looked up at the stars and wondered, is someone else out there? That curiosity has driven everything from ancient myths to modern science. Now with tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, we're finally at the edge of turning that curiosity into real answers. We're no longer just stargazing, we're investigating. And the results are starting to pour in. Every piece of data Webb sends. Back is like a puzzle piece. Some reveal odd temperatures. Others point to strange light emissions. All together, they start forming a picture of a universe that may be more populated than we ever imagined. And it's not just about finding aliens. It's about understanding our own place in this vast, incredible cosmos. Even if we don't find intelligent life right away, we're learning about planets that are capable of supporting life, even if that life is microbial or just beginning. And that's still revolutionary, because it tells us that the conditions for life aren't rare. They might be surprisingly common. That flips the whole narrative. Instead of Earth being a lucky exception, we may be just one of many worlds where life took hold. That possibility reshapes science, philosophy, and even religion. It changes how we think about ourselves, our responsibilities, and our future. We may not be alone, and that's both thrilling and humbling. On the technical side, what makes all this even more remarkable is the fact that Webb is only the first of many tools in our arsenal. The ELT will be followed by missions like Louvoir and HabX, both designed to hunt for biosignatures in Earth-like planets. These observatories will have incredible light-splitting capabilities, allowing them to see every little chemical ingredient floating in a planet's skies. By comparing these ingredients to what we know supports life, scientists can flag planets that are most likely to be inhabited. 